Good evening. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. <sighs> it feels like it's been forever that I've been doing this show, but it actually has only been a few, few short months. Um, really? Ugh. Sorry. Sometimes I just forget what I'm doing. Anyway, welcome to the show. I'm glad that you've brought us into your living room tonight. I have a really special, special duo for you tonight. Um, I've known the gentleman of this duo for um, a long time, probably longer than I would like to admit. And recently, within the last five or so years, he has um, mentored and brought to light his daughter. And she's just fabulous. She's gorgeous. She's smart. She's talented. And now her and her dad are doing things all over the United States. And they live right here in our little corner of the world. So it's my honor, my blessing, and my joy to bring to you tonight Vince Thompson and Anna Mae. She's like mercury and diamond, express and bold, hot and cold, sinister to the eyes of all. She'll be the one who gets away, no one's sanity shall save. She's velvet and gold And all the things a man can hold She will fall into your eyes Emeralds and crystals in her eyes Demons you won't recognize Oh, her silver tongue Jealous loves, pointless fights Sad love, hold on tight It's a wild and crazy world for troubled boys Little girl, ooh, they say it's a wild world Cause she's fell and gold and all the things a man can hold she will fall into your eyes emeralds and crystals in her eyes demons you won't recognize oh her silver tongue and lonely heart she'll rest around, sink her teeth and bite on down. She'll be the talk of this town. It's hard to see the light when no one taught you wrong from right. So She's velvet and gold And all the things a man can hold She will fall into your eyes Emeralds and crystals in her eyes Demons you won't recognize Oh, her silver tongue
Thanks. Thanks. That was kind of a song um, I wrote, kind of something I couldn't say to someone in person, so I wrote that down, and I'm pretty happy with it. So we just got back a couple of days ago. We went to, we played in Philadelphia and Johnson City, Tennessee, and New Orleans, and Berea, Kentucky, and it was just kind of like this awesome whirlwind trip, and it was a lot of driving. Um, so I have a lot of good new travel ideas that I kind of want to get going with, but um, I guess, what do you feel like doing next? Wanna... You're in charge. All right, we'll do one. This is called um, Escaping Muse. This is kind of new. I met a frenzied seamstress in a lonely river town. She sewed stray strands together. She lived underground. She learned beauty isn't seamless. Perfection comes and goes. In and out of living rooms All the folks the wise souls know I've hidden my intelligence To satisfy the rest the Poets and philosophers Didn't bother to protest Falling in Cracked open doors Trying to piece together clues Scattered on these wooden floors Looking for that escaping muse To say I ran with charming men And the beauties of the ball We penetrate the stratosphere And then somehow we fall Wish I could sit comfortably In the wise man's lair Down in deep dark canyons Where you can't come up for air Hidden my intelligence to satisfy the rest. Poets and philosophers didn't bother to protest. Falling into orbit through cracked open doors, trying to piece together clues scattered on the wooden floors and looking for that escaping muse I've been climbing high I'm running out of runs dancing in dark flames eyes fixed through the barrel of a gun Took me all my life to reach the center of the stage. Champagne and caviar, and still this vast blank page. I've hidden my intelligence to satisfy the rest. Poets and philosophers didn't bother to
to protest have fallen into orbit through cracked open doors trying to piece together clues scattered on these wooden floors I'm looking for the Where I saw you somewhere in the wrinkles of my mind. If only we could sail the world, but we haven't any time. some upbeat songs, so here's one of them. One of the very few. <laughs>
It's so deep in the California snow You're walking in these tire tracks and buried down below Mountains fade like memories every time you go Waves of blue, hills of green, buddy you song. This is called Garden Party and we've only done this a couple times so bear with us. Sit under the elm tree Surrounded by a fence so high It's a small world, they say But we came from far and wide We laugh and we don't cry And sip tea from China cups We make all Then our time is up I'm gonna have a garden party on by All my friends will sit in wicker chairs Pretend we don't pretend I'm gonna bake a carrot cake and bring it with me to the garden party Retired track coaches Professors of history Say there's no limitation To all the things that you can be We're all in walking distance Of a prize-winning film
to the garden party of our free will. We were waves upon the ocean, now the water's getting still. And this is called You Are Alone, and um, my dad's going to sing a little bit on this one, too. Met 
called April and Johnny and I think we clocked it at like 13 minutes one time because my dad had a his guitar player Andy Solberg who's really awesome played along with it and he did like a couple guitar breaks and it just went on and on but I was like yes you know I've hit the you know double digits um yeah so this was kind of about um some friends of mine a little bit and then there was kind of an element that I made up and um, it was interesting because I just kind of did random names, April and Johnny. And I don't know anyone named April, but we met this girl in Laurel, Mississippi, who was working at the coffee shop we were playing at, and her name was April. And she came up to me and said, like, the timeline of her relationship kind of went along with the song. And, you know, I'd never met her before, so that was kind of a really cool thing. So. And she could sing. She was awesome, yeah. Um, that was very cool. It was Jitter's Coffee House in this little town, Laurel, Mississippi, that was like two hours from New Orleans. And it was kind of, there wasn't much going on, so it was kind of like the coffee shop was a bar and a hangout and a bookstore, and they also had like a I Christian. I like it when it works that way. Yeah, it was a combination of everything, so it was kind of a cool place. Oh, 
fun on our road trip and my dad was really awesome to like jump in the car and his, he teaches at Conn College so we had a school break and we got in our little golf and like packed everything up and it was kind of hard to find stuff so we kept like where's my wallet where's <laughs> you know it's like buried under everything because it's a really tiny car um, but it was a lot of fun we ran into two snowstorms right off the bat in Vermont and Philadelphia and it, I thought I was going to get this nice like kind of semi-tropical weather down there, you know, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm going to escape the cold. But one morning we woke up, it was like four degrees, and I think it was really, like, abnormally cold down there. Kentucky. Yeah. There was one day that was 70 degrees, and I got to wear shorts, but that was it. Then it just was freezing again, so. New Orleans. Yeah. What are we doing? What's this one? Um, are you up to the paper, too? Oh, okay. I'll do this. Tear me up, beat me alive I couldn't see the hatred Burning in their eyes I guess I should have known Yeah. 
I know, in. I'm plugged in. So, while yeah. they're coming over and I get plugged back in, hi! <laughs> what did you think of that? That was pretty amazing. We're going to run out of time because I can just tell. So, I want to remind you downtown in your city is where you should need to go to shop. There's little stores and little galleries and little places for art. Right in one or two blocks of downtown New London, we've got an eyeglass shop, several galleries, a guitar repair shop, a skateboard shop, um, an Indian clothes kind of shop, and you name it, several coffee shops. Shop local, stay local, keep your money local. It will fix the economy. If we fix the economy in our community and every community decides to do that, just think what would happen. Smile. Smile at a stranger and shop local. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm so glad you're home yeah. safely, but that was never a concern. Good driver for a youngster. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> she's got a pretty solid head on her shoulders, Vince. Yes. How did you do that with a blonde? <laughs> hey, I used to be blonde. There's nothing wrong with blonde. No, there is not. I can show you pictures of a blonde. That was actually born <laughs> with platinum hair. Really? Yeah, but you I have got old. Awesome hair. I, well, I yeah, love, like, that's blonde. because I refused to pay hairdressers to cut it. But, yeah, <laughs> no, let's talk question. about you. Let's talk <laughs> about your music. Where are your inspirations, Anna? Your music is. I wouldn't say it's happy, but it's definitely yeah. intriguing. <laughs> and your storylines are, are fun to listen to and engaging. Where do you get your inspiration? Um, mostly people. Mostly people I meet, stuff I've been through. Um, yeah, it's, kind of, it's a mix. It's funny because it's like I don't ever intend to write a song about one person. It's always, it always ends up being like a mix of like five different people mm -hmm. in one song. So it kind of, and you know, it's funny because stuff I wrote like a long time ago, that I'm not super connected to will be relevant now. Like everyone, I'll be like, oh wow, that kind of, you know, it, it just kind of has this weird connection thing and kind of, yeah, I think it's like a mix of everything you've seen. When did you, when did you come to a place in your life where you felt like you really needed to write music? Um, it's always been like that. I think, I mean, like I think a couple of years ago I started playing with him and um, I don't play guitar, so he's been really awesome to Teaches do that. piano though. I do teach piano. Um, but yeah, I don't love like singing and playing at the same time. That makes me nervous. So, um, but yeah, it's always I've always needed to write something just to process everything that happens and that I see. And, yeah. Um, yeah, but then the music part that when I started doing that, it was like, oh, that's like really satisfying to just fuse the two of them. That's nice. Well, yeah. your dad's very talented. Oh, I've yeah. known him for a long time, and I've been watching him grow as a musician. Yeah. Um, I can remember when. He wasn't as hot as he is now, as far as, as far as musically. He was hot back then in other ways, but just, you know, as a musician, he's, he's evolved. And he takes himself out there and he plays and engages. But the two of you together have something different. It's, um, there is obviously that family connection, but when you sing together, your harmonies are just enough I would off is the wrong word. They're just enough different. I was yeah. trying to sing with you, and usually I can jump in and harmonize a little bit, but I couldn't find a, a place <laughs> in the middle of you guys. I couldn't find a place, and I couldn't sing your part because I couldn't get, I guess, that low, yeah. and I definitely can't sing your part. It's uh, too it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't sing sweet. <laughs> no. Um, when you're writing music, do you sit down and make yourself write? No, it usually just comes to me, and I'll, um, if I, I, a couple times too, when we were in the car, I'd be listening, and he was like, I want to listen to the news, and um, I was just like, no, I can't, like, I need to get it all out, and it happens very quickly, just a couple minutes, and, you know, I have to write it down. So I never really force myself to, usually just um, after some kind of experience, I'll just sit down immediately after and it kind of just comes out. Mm -hmm. so. You know that's a gift, right? Uh, you understand that <laughs> it's that's a, a curse. Gift. It happens well, at the worst time. Yeah, there are, there are curses to gifts. You yeah, have to well, carry the you. good with the bad, but you definitely have a gift. Vince, what do you think of your daughter's gift? She writes really good songs. They're, yeah. They're just, the stories are good and uh, I had mentioned before, a lot of times with young people, even if it's musically good, the, there's awkwardness in the lyrics, and I never encounter that with her. So it's just straight out of the box good. And she's even fixed, uh, there was one of mine a few years ago, I got stuck. And <laughs> I gave, gave her the thing, and <laughs> she fixed it up and finished it. And then, of course, she wanted to take over and change all my parts. But, uh, <laughs> so I still sing that one, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't get to say she wrote half of it, because she wants, it was not up to her specifications. <laughs> oh, no, she wanted to I, I added some other stuff that he doesn't sing, but no, I'm happy you asked me to do it. That's cool. That's nice yeah. that you My brother's done that for me, too, years and years ago. He writes really good songs. And but you write your own songs, too. Yeah, yeah I got a bunch of them. But yeah. um, he doesn't play them as not often as, as he should. But. I'm not as, um, uh, I don't attend to it as well as her. Like, I get ideas, I scribble them down, and then I go do math problems and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> You know, you get it takes it. a good mathematician to be a good musician. It's That's all I can say. It's a satisfying thing when you finish, but she's great on the follow-through, and she's got a slew of them very quickly. 
and they're good. Yeah, I've been watching her grow like I don't know five years now. Maybe I've, I've yeah. known you. Yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. and I've watched you grow, and I've watched your voice mature, and I've watched you come around as a performer. Yeah, and um, also as a musician, I know that you don't like to play alone. But you're very captivating when you are alone. I've, Thank you. I've watched how you engage the audience, and you may be nervous, but I think that nerves are a good thing. Do you you get nervous before you go on stage? No, not I mean, so much. No, I mean with hers, I you know I got to practice the songs because they're not in me yet. Right. You know, um, I got my own. I got the math. I got got to make space. But but <laughs> but uh, so only that. Just there's a few of hers that I still clutch up on. So. Kind of pushing them off the list until I no get one the would chance know. to practice. So. No oh, one right? would know that you klutz up on anything. But um, no, it's 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 a blast. You know, it's a simpler thing like I do with the whole band, and she yep. likes just this. So she's also bailed me out. Somebody called me for a, a wedding dinner, wedding rehearsal dinner, and I'm <laughs> I got this big <laughs> strong fun. voice, and I'm like, well, you don't want me interrupting your dinner time conversation. Right, right, right. She plays piano, so. I pulled her and, and Andy that she mentioned from, from my band, and he played classical guitar, yes. and she's played piano, and I sang a few, you know, appropriate, and then, but they, you know, I got through it, you know, with, right, right. with their help. You know, so. That's like my favorite thing to do, background music, like, because you can still, like, especially if I'm at the piano, the piano is a great shield, because you're just behind it, and especially, right. you know, right. and, um, but like you can really people watch and you know, oh like you know and I sometimes I'll get distracted like I'm playing and I'm watching like listening I, I do that too when I'm singing and I trail off you know because half of it even when we were traveling it was a lot of the shows we played it wasn't really about the music I mean it was in a way but it was kind of about watching the people and like oh my god I have a great song idea and I was right. more excited about all that and meeting all these new people and that's um, wonderful. Yeah. I am so glad you guys got to take this trip together. Great this is, trip. It was this great, is something yeah. that you will both remember like forever. Yeah. And to have that kind of opportunity to just go and do something with, with your dad is, it's just a, it's a gift, another yeah. gift. But, it was fun. Yeah. And you wouldn't meet those people unless you were up there playing those right, songs, right. you know, and it gives them a way in, you know. Or like that young girl, April, you know, she was working at the place and She's been, you know, she'd taken some piano lessons and then didn't stick with it. And, but then she we did something after and she could really sing. Yeah. So I think and she, she was hilarious, like one of the funniest people ever. <laughs> she was great. Yeah. I love we it. We never would have met her. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I love it when you meet people and I you know. click like that. That's how it is with Ray Kurt and I, my fiddler friend. Yeah. You just, you click and you're like, we're going to be friends forever. That's yeah. all there is to it, right? Right. It's great. So are you guys going to do another um, trip like that? Yeah. Actually, yes, because yeah, we're, we're. I grew up in California, and my nephew's getting married, so we're headed out there anyway in May. Okay. And I haven't been out in ten years, so we'll extendify it a few weeks and yeah. round up some things to do. Yeah. Last night nice. I was emailing Portland, Oregon, and Santa Barbara, and all these places. So hopefully, some of those early enough. So what okay, I do, I kind of just like email places and hey, can we I can play stay there? We at my and, sister's house. So well, we still and, have two sisters out there. And I have some there. connections in. Texas, in case you wanted Ooh, to go that way. I so, love Texas. Um, we, had, we went to Texas when I was 15, and that we went in a van, and it was not. It was really hot, and we had to tape fans onto the dashboard. It had inadequate, it's like a cargo van. It had <laughs> inadequate <laughs> air conditioning for yeah. Texas. So we, we get, we plug in lighter, you know, plug into the lighter, and you get a fan going. And <laughs> so, it was it fun? It was fun. It was like, you know, it was really like roughing it. But we did stay in some, we were going to like camp and everything, but we ended up staying in hotels because everything is like, you know, really cheap down there. And right. we were at the Hyatt, like with our continental breakfast and doing, I, I love hotels. I mean, I love, I also love, you know, roughing it and being out in the car, but I do, I'm a sucker for like a nice comfort in, like. <laughs> <laughs> I like them when they let me bring my dog. Oh, we're right. the opposite. We're the opposite. We call the head. So you don't let animals in this place, do you? We they have to. Speech. Oh, yeah. You, you I, guys I wish. I, yeah. I, well, Jabez goes everywhere at a distance. with me. We're good. Oh, Jabez no, goes just, everywhere with me. And when my grandson and I took our trip, we, we were going to do the whole country, but we ended up not doing that. But at any rate, we did get far enough away to enjoy being away. Yeah. And then on the way back, it started to snow. And we couldn't, so we called and we found a place. It just ended up being the day before New Year's Eve day, right in the middle of Times Square. And we were on the 23rd floor of this hotel that took dogs. 
it was the most amazing night. And we just will never forget it. You know what I mean? But yeah. they did take dogs. Well, you know what a lot of them thing. do is they segregate a floor for dogs or something. So they yeah. do the cer certain rooms. Because everybody doesn't bring a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. Jabez loves coming on, on, yeah, on trips with me. And he likes being on TV when... When you guys play quiet music, we really? had a rock and roll band on the other day he wasn't so happy with. Uh -huh. But we loved it. We loved it. What are you guys doing um, for the summer? Are you, You're going to be taking that trip out to California. You'll leave in May, right after college gets out. Yeah. And uh, I think I have to be back here because I play um, the pump organ at a church in the summer. So it's kind of cool. I pump it with your feet. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. To come out. Um, so I'll have to be here for most of the summer. And I think there's usually for weddings. a lot. Yeah, I have a wedding, I think, the end of June that I'm going to play at. Those are always fun because I never like get to go to weddings. And I've got like a couple of them that we're going to go to. So that's, that'll be exciting. <laughs> you never get to go to weddings? No, I haven't been to a lot of weddings like in my life. I've only been to... She's only 21, so a couple. Uh, uh, only people 21. get married later now. I, I, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. And having done that marriage thing, um, take your time. Yeah. Take your yeah. time. I just like to go to weddings because I like yeah. to dance. And I like to and dance and I like to listen to the music. I'm okay with not going to right. weddings. So yeah. I can get music and dancing without going to weddings. <laughs> I'll never go to my own again. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm going to go to one of my own again. But there are good weddings. So if you find that guy that just kind of clicks with you, that human being, yeah. I don't care. If, if, if there's a human out there that you fall for, make it happen because yeah. it's a good thing. You will agree that marriage is a good thing. We'll have 28 <laughs> years this summer. So. I know. It's been a great, great marriage for you, hasn't it? She, Lisa's a great gal. So. She She's is. Great. I like that. Yeah. Well, From Waterford, where our studios are. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's she, very, very good to be in that kind of connection. Now, does she ever go on your trips with you? She'll go in May. Well, she, she's on she the fence. Did, yeah. she, doesn't, she doesn't like getting on airplanes, and this one is... Uh, she likes staying at home more, but... I mean, she's, she went on the trip to Texas. It was a summertime yeah. trip. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we went to Europe for, for a wedding, but she was young. She went went family wedding. Uh, my sister's daughter got married in Paris, or outside of Paris. So she went on that, but she had to really get revved up to get on the plane. Yeah. My grandmother went too. She actually, there was an incident in, uh, the town was like Or Bay, and she climbed out the window because uh, she misplaced her key, and um, she didn't want to stay in the messy room with all of us. So my grandma, I don't know how old she was, in her 70s, like climbed out the window in France, and I followed her, and we got into our room via the window because we had opened it and then the, the concierge the next morning was yelling at her in French like, oh, you could have, you know, why did you climb up? And so that was a good adventure, but we... <laughs> anyway. There's a song in there it's somewhere. A great, I know, I Isn't know. there a song in there yeah, somewhere? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm not going to write it though. I'm not going <laughs> to write it. So where do you see yourself with, with your singing and songwriting in the next five or six years? Are you going to branch out and do things on your own? Or are you going to steal your dad from his band? Or where do you guys plan on taking all of this? I don't know. Yeah, I'd kind of, like right now, just writing more songs. I'd like to maybe like collaborate with different people and sing with different people and try that out and kind of see where that goes and recording. Mm -hmm. So all that is kind of like hazy in the future and just, you know, continue to listen to music. Just kind of like see what happens, I guess, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I, I'm a little surprised, you being his daughter, that you don't have kind of a plan. I'm a, I'm a right. little surprised yeah. at that. But I'm also very, very happy to hear that because I think that you with your talent and you with your gift, you need to collaborate. And there's some amazing musicians in this area. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not just in this area, but really, New London County, if you drink the water, you become a great musician, I think. <laughs> or a great, I don't know. It's the chlorine. I try. I try <laughs> to drink the water so I can become talented, but you're a talent. No, no. I, I want to hear you sing. I okay. I will just ride on you musicians' coattails and and try to make you famous by putting you on TV. I'm wondering, do you guys have a song that you can take us out with? We do. Yeah. That would be awesome. Thank you so Thank much you for, for coming to Grandma's us. Attic. Thanks so Come much. Come back anytime, and as soon as you're ready to drop a CD. Yeah. I'm down with all of that. Cool. We'll put it on everything I do, and we'll talk to the world about it. 
Go sing us a song. Thank you. Thank you. So while they're getting back over to their spot, just let me say, I really appreciate you people as listeners. Thank you for letting me come into your living room every Saturday night. I hope that I'm bringing you music that you enjoy. If you ever have any comments or questions, you can go to Grandma's Attic Music Review on Facebook. You can hit me up on Grandma's Attic Radio Show. Just find me. Send me a message, and I would be glad to try to fulfill it. There's amazing music in the world. If you don't know that I know them, tell me about them. It's all good. Until next week, God bless. Bye-bye. I'm not as strong as you think But who really cares Drop the rusty anchor Let me sing Well, I've been on the brink of wisdom I've been in the line of fire But you'd never think Had this raging desire I'm sick of wearing this iron skin I'm no consolation prize to win The second choice you go between But you never thought of me